Hello, welcome again to another session of uh, Digital Slide Review and Sign Out. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel and our program, part of the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy, a joint venture with the Digital Pathology Association, which is free to residents and trainees, uh, and PATH presenter. Our case today comes from the files of the uh, University of Oklahoma Cleveland, excuse me, Stevenson Cancer Center. It's a 32-year-old woman who has uh, been found to have an adnexal mass on pelvic exam. Uh, this is uh, resected and uh, on evaluation, as you can see, we have a somewhat lobulated pale tan to slightly yellow uh, lesion, which seems to spare the cortex of the uh, ovary. Um, and obviously does not have areas of uh, hemorrhage or necrosis. Uh, frozen section was done and a benign diagnosis was rendered uh, to await for permanent sections. On frozen, we saw sort of a spindle-shaped cell pattern. Um, and we can see here this uh, degree of lobulation, the cortical sparing here, as you can see, the cortex is not involved and a fairly eosinophilic uh, pattern of uh, tumor cells with a, somewhat of a, a vasculature in the background, mostly sort of um, uh, thin-walled with uh, slightly ectatic lumina, occasionally forming branches or uh, strange shapes in the process. Um, and a few areas of uh, more cellularity. Uh, we can see here that uh, some of these cells have a uh, not so spindle-shaped cell pattern, but a more polygonal appearance. Uh, with sort of uh, oval nuclei and uh, some uh, uh, streaming, a little bit of streaming, but not too much in that regard. Um, and there's a little bit of lipidization in some of these uh, cell nuclei. So what are we thinking uh, with a lesion of this uh, character, uh, sort of a spindle-shaped pattern? Well, I think uh, there's a fairly long differential uh, that should be considered uh, as, you can, as you think about this. Certainly fibroma, the coma type lesions are the most common uh, encountered lesion of sort of a spindle stromal cell pattern. Um, some of these uh, are occasionally malignant. And so if you see malignant features, uh, fibrosarcomas do occur uh, in this pattern. Much less common would be the sclerosing stromal tumor or microcystic stromal tumor. This typically has a very characteristic uh, uh, microcystic, almost mucin-like uh, cytoplasmic appearance, uh, or uh, the signet ring cell stromal tumor, uh, sort of a related variant with a more signet ring pattern. Uh, myxomas uh, occur, but uh, usually much more posse-cellular. Uh, and then we're into the realm of uh, the sort of mixed epithelial stromal tumors, uh, adenofibromas, uh, which are uh, adeno-poor, uh, uh, can have a very fibromatous appearance with only scattered uh, uh, glandular uh, or epithelial elements. Brenner tumor can occasionally uh, have a very uh, stroma predominant appearance with relatively few or almost invisible um, epithelial islands. Uh, and then lastly, Krukenberg tumors, uh, metastatic carcinomas that have induced a uh, fibromatous uh, or fibrothecomatous type pattern uh, can occasionally enter into the differential. Um, if we were to look at a lesion like this, we see again a nodular pattern um, and uh, a lot of blue cells, some more pink areas. Uh, this is a nice example of a fibrothecoma. Um, now, why is it not just a pure fibroma? Well, the answer is uh, to be found at higher magnification as we uh, find that some of these cells have a nice thecomatous uh, type cytoplasm or eosinophilic appearance. Notice, however, that the background here is a, sort of a wiry collagen pattern um, and that this tumor has uh, this uh, uh, sort of streaming pattern in several areas. Um, I don't think I've zeroed down on the thecomatous component uh, particularly well. We'll look a little bit further here and see if we can identify that. Uh, because uh, obviously uh, that's an important consideration, particularly if there's menstrual uh, abnormalities. Uh, one of my mentors uh, was uh, renowned to have uh, uh, luteinized uh, thecomatous cells uh, painted on the uh, uh, 
uh, objective of his uh, microscope uh, after resident after resident uh, failed to uh, identify them. Uh, he would uh, simply uh, scan briefly and then uh, come to high magnification and say, oh, here we are. Did you see these, Dr. Hassel? Uh, and we would admit, no, we hadn't seen those. Uh, but as we learn to, to scan and look through these things, uh, this is one of the things in the differential uh, at this point. So another lesion that we've uh, mentioned, uh, uh, maybe here more example, uh, is just a pure uh, luteinized stroma. And here we can see normal ovarian structures, pattern, a mixture of, of uh, theca cells and uh, you know, loose tissue, maybe some uh, corpora albicantia, occasional epithelial inclusion. This is not really forming a tumor, uh, but as we look here, uh, we have no difficulty identifying uh, the luteinized cells here in the stroma, these cells with uh, central round nuclei and slightly foamy cytoplasm. Sometimes it's more eosinophilic um, that uh, jump out at us uh, at uh, uh, even intermediate or sometimes even low magnification. So uh, luteinized uh, thecomatous stroma, uh, in this case, uh, not a neoplasm, uh, but certainly potentially a hormonal uh, factory to uh, cause uh, potential menstrual abnormalities and admixed with normal ovarian structures as we see here. Another entity we mentioned in the differential is metastatic tumors. Um, and here we can again see a very diffuse pattern uh, a lot of fibrominous, fibrous type tissue, uh, a little bit of thin vasculature. Uh, but as we come into higher magnification, we can see some of this wiry, uh, streaming collagenous tissue, uh, but subtly admixed here are um, an additional cell type. Uh, these little cells here, uh, and occasionally we see slightly mucinous appearing cytoplasm. So this actually is a nice example of a Krukenberg tumor uh, with uh, rare scattered um, uh, signet ring uh, cells uh, that are derived from uh, the stomach in this case, uh, although other uh, uh, signet ring origin tumors can uh, produce the same phenomenon. Uh, and it masquerades as uh, an ovarian uh, fibroma. Here we can see more of them but you can see, if you are not cautious, these uh, could be easily overlooked at low, low magnification, uh, as you see here, because they, they don't stand out as epithelial structures amidst this otherwise uh, uh, fibrous uh, background. Well, uh, our case uh, doesn't have that. Uh, our case is actually an example of sclerosing stromal tumor, which is uh, uh, usually seen in the third or fourth decade. Uh, it has a sort of lobulated or pseudo-lobulated appearance and slightly yellowish uh, pattern. And, and it usually will have alternating cellular and hypocellular areas with a sort of an edematous or sometimes a very collagenous uh, kind of tissue in between. Uh, the cells are not at, uh, highly spindled, but uh, tend to be more polygonal and the vasculature uh, tends to be uh, prominent. Uh, these will be positive with uh, the uh, sex cord stromal markers, calretinin inhibitin and other stromal markers, although usually that's not uh, critical unless you are looking to exclude uh, uh, Krukenberg or something of that uh, sort. So it's unusual to have to use immunohistochemistry in these cases. So just to review, here's our case again. Uh, we see a sort of lobulated uh, pattern, uh, intervening areas with, uh, uh, in this case, somewhat collagenized tissue, a little bit of edematous tissue, um, and uh, these nicely uh, uh, more polygonal type of uh, uh, stromal cells, very bland nuclei, no mitotic activity, uh, and a delicate vasculature in the background. In some cases, these can have a uh, uh, almost hemangiopericytoma-like va like vasculature uh, that can look, uh, even in some cases, like a vascular anomaly or abnormality. Um, so our uh, final sign out uh, for today's case is uh, sclerosing stromal tumor um, of the ovary in a 30, uh, young 30-ish uh, woman. Uh, certainly will have a benign course and nothing further to work, worry about. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed that case. And if you did, please uh, subscribe so you can catch our future releases 
or comment, share uh, other things that you think uh, should be considered in the differential or your experience with uh, any of these tumors. Uh, and if you're uh, watching from an East Asian uh, environment, we uh, wish you a uh, happy uh, Lunar New Year uh, and good wishes for the uh, coming um, Tet or uh, other celebration in uh, your domain. So thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.